Hi guys, just received this little radio control receiver in my post bag today. So I'm going to see if I can bind it with my FlySky transmitters. I've no idea if it's compatible. Um, it's a Redcon CM421 receiver. Four channels. Got it from Banggood. And it was cheap, it was £3 something I think. It was a bit of an impulse buy, I thought I'd just give it a try, see if I can get it to work. Got the binding instructions here that I've copied off the Banggood website. Got my toy boat here, simply so that I can use the ESC to put the power in. Got this little LiPo battery that also came in today's post bag. So we'll stick it all together and see if we can get it to work. So if I pull that out of there, see if I can actually see which one's which. There's nothing written on here. It says, put the binding harness into the channel marked bind. Well, I certainly can't see any writing on there that says bind. Back again, I've been on the Redcon website and got the details now. So holding it that way round, that's the order of the pins. Top one is the bind, second one throttle, third one aileron, fourth one elevator, fifth one rudder. Right, this gets worse. I've just been back on the Redcon website and looked at their CM621 diagram and they've got them numbered in the opposite direction. So I don't know which one to believe. And on the Redcon website it's showing the tag at the bottom here as being the negative and the top one being the signal wire. So that would be that way up instead because the black is the negative. So I've got a nasty feeling we may be connecting this up in reverse in a minute because we've got a 50-50 chance. So what have we got? We've got it connected to the motor, to this receiver. Oh, let's put the bind plug in. That doesn't matter which way up it goes because it's connecting the negative to the signal. Probably hear our washing machine going in the background. Connect that onto there. Switch the power on and see if it goes <laughs> goes wrong straight away. Okay, well we've got flashing light. So let's switch that off again and find a transmitter. Just try my normal FlySky FS T4B. Switch that one on first. Press the bind. Oh, let's do it the other way around. Press the bind button. Switch it on. So we should be in binding mode with the transmitter. Power this thing on. Not a lot happening. Switch it off again. Switch this off again. Well, 
Well, that certainly didn't bind it. Let's pull that out. I'll just try putting the bind at the opposite end just in case this one's completely wrong. Transmitter in bind mode. Well, that didn't look good, did it? Light just went straight out. Disappointing, but not surprising. It only claims to be compatible with spectrums. So, fail.